the last few weeks I've been messing with my Amiga 1000 and I've been trying to get a GoTech floppy emulator working on it and I haven't had success the, the problem I've been having is when you would have it anytime you'd plug the GoTech in the computer wouldn't boot it would just go to a black screen and it would go garbled and then it would like make a high pitch squeal and then the computer would just go blank basically and when I had the original floppy hooked up it functioned appeared to function like it should it comes on the kickstart screen would come up you'd hear it click and everything and so in a, an attempt to try to figure out what's going on um, I put this mod back on that was on here if in the first video there was some wires hanging off and I didn't know what that was and so I've done some research since and that's a ground mod for the PAL chips and then you just you tie them together and you find a good ground and uh, it didn't do it did nothing to, to help the floppy which I didn't really think it would but I figured it isn't gonna hurt anything either so today I had a Sunday afternoon I've been down here messing with it and uh, I have finally able been able to get to a workbench screen but that's about as far as it goes and what I did was I swapped the CIA chips around so apparently I have a bad CIA chip and uh, I think that's one of the problems the second problem is this GoTech I, I, I think this GoTech has been messed up since I had it and that's probably what's caused a lot of my headaches um, I initially had the Cortex firmware on there and I couldn't get it to work and uh, so I thought well I'll try the HXC and then I, I've had, got some of these screen modules laying around and I saw that you could modify it to put a screen on there and even with the drive set up properly I used the uh, it's the uh, pro program for Windows you can use to set that up and uh, I put that on there and the problem it seems I've always had is I can't scroll through anything like especially after the, it's like the computer will boot the first thing on there and then it just like freezes up and then the screen has never shown anything right now I got the contrast turned way up to to see if I, there was any letters hidden in there or anything but um, so I guess my next step is going to be I'm just going to buy another one and see if that's the problem and then I'll worry about the CIA chip later on but uh, all in all it's been a pretty frustrating experience trying to get this going hopefully I can get the drive going so then I can like start doing some things that are a little more fun and interesting with it so that's an update for now. Thanks for watching.